Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are fine and you have done with your homework which I gave you in the uh, first video. Uh, have you learned the, those questions? Hopefully yes. Today we will continue the drawing tools of chapter 9 drawing tools in flash CS3 but before that we will uh, review the question answers of the last video. Recap. Write names of the eraser tool modifier. Answers are written. You can check your spellings. Difference between the rectangle tool and the primitive rectangle tool. You can check your spellings as well. Open page number 137, Oval Tools. The oval tool is used to draw an oval or a circular shape. Highlight this line. The steps to use these tools are follows. Click the drop down menu arrow of the rectangle tool and select the oval tool. Now you will select the oval tool from the uh, drop down menu list. In the property inspector panel select the stroke color, stroke thickness, line style and the fill color. Click and drag on the stage to draw an oval shape. Steps to draw a part of the circle using the oval tool are you can see on page number 138 to draw a part of a circle you can specify the start angle and the end angle and the inner radius. A simple circle can be seen in figure 9.11 then click and drag to draw the shapes. You can see on the screen as well. Uh, steps are select the oval tool then you will select the thickness line thickness and the line style and, and at the third select the stroke color and the fill color. Stroke color will be uh, line a boundary line color and the fill color will the inner color select uh, so, um, uh, now you will select the starting angle and the angle and uh, ending angle and inner radius as well at step 5 click and drag to draw the shape and then uh, you will draw the shape same like in paint you will draw uh, you draw the shapes the procedure will be same just you have some additional features but uh, otherwise it will be same like the paint page number 138 oval primitive tool you can see the icon on the screen as well and here you have the icon on the book as well when you draw an oval or a circle using the oval tool you cannot change the starting start angle and the end angle or the inner radius after drawing the shape same like with the rectangle same issue with the rectangle tool and the rectangle primitive tool and oval tool and oval primitive tool but this can be done if you uh, draw a circle or oval using the primitive tool primitive oval tool or the primitive rectangle tool we done it previously On page number 138, here we have steps to use the oval primitive tools. First, you will select the oval primitive tool from the oval drop down arrow. When you click on the oval drop down arrow, you will have a list from where you can select oval primitive tool. After selecting the tool, you will drag and uh, click and drag to draw a simple oval or uh, circle on the stage. The white area is stage, you can draw a circle there set the inner radius from the property inspector here is the property inspector number three where you can select the inner radius you can see on your book as well set the start angle and end angle from the property inspector pan panel to make changes in the circle you can decide here uh, as many times as you want but in oval case you have to decide earlier पहले से डिसाइड कर लेना है कि आपने कितना रखना है इनर एंगल कितना होगा स्टार्टिंग एंगल क्या होगा इनर रेडियस कितना होगा स्टार्टिंग एंगल क्या होगा एंडिंग एंगल क्या होगा बट इन प्रिमिटिव केस यू कैन चेंज ड्यूरिंग द होल मूवी एज़ 
पेज नंबर 138 ड्राइंग पॉलीगॉन्स एंड स्टार्स द पॉली स्टार टूल इज यूज्ड टू ड्रॉ पॉलीगॉन्स आर और स्टार्स हाईलाइट दिस लाइन स्टूडेंट्स हियर यू कैन सी द आइकन फॉर दैट एज वेल द पिक्चर वेयर यू कैन फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन सेलेक्ट पॉलीगॉन एंड इट विल बी प्लेस्ड इन द रेक्टेंगल टूल you can select this tool from the drop down menu of the rectangle tool you can modify the poly star shapes in terms of the number of sides of polygon how you can modify by the numbers of the sides of the polygon or the number of points on the star or the numbers on the points on the star highlight this line Uh, you can uh, highlight from uh, poly uh, poly star shapes in terms of the number of sides of the polygon or the numbers of points on the polygon two important points numbers of the sides of the polygon if you are going to draw the polygon you will set the number of the sides if you are going to uh, draw the star you will give the points on the star the depth of the star points can also be modified steps to draw a polygon or star are the first step is select the poly star tool from the rectangle tool then second step select the stroke and fill attributes from the property inspector click the options button in the property inspector now the tool setting dialog box appear select polygon or star for style you can select uh, in style box you can select polygon or the star specify number of slides between uh, sides between 3 and 32 minimum will be 3 maximum will be 32 for polygons it is the number of sides while for stars it indicate the number of points star point size specify the depth of the star points enter a number between 0 and 1 for this value a number closer to 0 indicates deeper point for drawing a polygon do not change the setting this setting will be uh, 0.250 will be okay you are not going to change this setting click okay to close the dialog box click on the stage and drag to draw the shape is number 139 drawing with the pencil tool you can see the pencil tool this tool is used to draw lines and shapes just like you would using your pen or pencil highlight this line when the pencil tool is selected its modifier is displayed in the lower area of the tools panel you can see pencil modifier there are three pencil modifiers straighten smooth and ink and the effects are given on the screen you can see what kind of effect you can uh, when you use to write, uh, use your pencil to write the effect is different when you write with the pointer there is a different effect of writing and when you write with the ink pen there is a different effect same like that here you have three options to uh, write is number 140 when you click the modifier icon it shows three options straighten select this options to draw straight lines smooth select this options to draw smooth curves and lines ink select this options to draw free hand lines with no modification these three points are important you can highlight it you should know the purpose of the uh, options steps to draw with the pencil tool first you have to select the pencil tool as i told you many time that whenever you want to use a tool you have to select it first same like this you have to select the pencil tool from number 
then the uh, when you will select the pencil tool you will uh, see the property inspector at the bottom in the property inspector select stroke color line thickness and styles now select any of the three options straighten smooth or ink click and drag to draw the line page number 140 painting with the brush tool the brush tool is used to paint with brush like strokes highlight this line it is similar to the pencil tool as both can be used to create shapes the similarities is both can be uh, used for the drawing shapes the difference between these two tools is that the brush tool is used to paint fills whereas the pencil tool is used to draw strokes as you know in flash and uh, every shape has two things one is the stroke and other is the fill the stroke can be draw with the pencil and uh, fill can be uh, done with the paint brush the brush tool can also be used to create special effects such as calligraphic effects you can also change the brush shape and size page number 141 steps to paint using the brush tool are select the brush tool from the drawing tools select the fill color from the property inspector click the brush mode modifier from the tool panel now select a painting mode from the brush tool modifier drop down list select the desired brush shape and size now drag the mouse pointer on the stage to apply a brush stroke uh, page number 141 paint bucket tool this tool is used to fill enclosed areas with solid colors and gradients highlight this you know gradients are multiple colored uh, painting you can also fill empty areas and change the color of already painted areas using the paint bucket tool this tool is also fills areas that are not entirely closed the tool provides a modifier that allows you to close gaps page number 141 the steps to fill colors using the paint bucket tool are the first is select the paint bucket tool second is select the fill color in the property inspector click the drop down menu arrow of the gap size modifier and choose a gap size options to close the gaps in the shape click inside the shape to fill it with color page number 141 filling shapes with gradient fill gradients are colors created by mixing two or more colors highlight this line flash provides some default gradient colors that appears at the bottom of the color palette steps to apply the gradient are click the paint bucket tool select a gradient color from the color palette click inside the shape for filling gradient linear gradient the linear gradient creates a gradient that shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line the radial gradient creates a gradient that shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern page number 142 creating a new gradient a new gradient can be created through the following steps number 1 select window select color click the drop down arrow of the type box and select a gradient style you can select a linear or a radical 
gradient. Fourth point, click the color markers you want to change. You can change uh, amount of color, any color like uh, here green has more uh, portion and the uh, sky blue has less portion. You can change the size and width of the um, colors and you can even add more colors in the gradient as well. Step 5. Select a color. You can also click and shift the color marker left or right on the gradient bar to adjust the gradient. Step number 6. To add another color marker, click below the gradient bar. To remove a color marker, drag it off the bar. Continue creating the gradient effect by adding colors, markers and assigning colors to them. Page number 143 using the ink bottle tool. This tool is used to change the color style and thickness of the existing line. Underline this line. Steps to modify a line using the ink bottle tool are Select the ink bottle tool. Select the stroke color, style and width from the property inspector. Click on the line to which you want to apply the stroke modification. Page number 143 using the eraser tool. This tool is used to erase lines and fills. You can customize it to erase only lines, only fills or only selected files. To delete everything on the stage, double click on the eraser tool. After double clicking on the eraser tool, your stage will be clear. Page number 143, steps to delete strokes or filled areas are, select the eraser tool, click the fluorescent modifier in the tools panel, click the stroke or filled area you want to delete. Now the third option, select to delete by dragging R. Select the eraser tool, click the eraser mod modifier in the tools panel. Select the desired erasing mode from the eraser mode modifier options. The options are erase normal, erase fill, erase lines, erase selected fills, erase inside. Fourth step, click the eraser shape modifier in the tools panel. Select eraser shapes and size. Click and drag on the stage to erase. Explanation of eraser modifiers. Erase normal. Erases all lines and fills that it passes over. Whenever you select the erase normal tool and pass over the lines, the lines will be erased. Uh, erase fills. Erases only fills. Lines remain unaffected. Means when you select the fill eraser, it will uh, erase only fill colors. And when you select the erase normal, it will erase only lines, not the fills. Erase lines. Erases only lines. Fills remain unaffected. Then uh, erase selected fills. Erases fills that are currently selected. Unselected fills and lines remains uninfected. In this case you have to select first and then click the erase selected fills. Erase inside. Erases the area of fill that you want to erase. Only inside area will be erased by erase inside. Page number 144, reshaping lines and shapes. With the help of the arrow tool, you can reshape lines and shapes. Highlight this line. 
Steps to reshape lines and shapes using the arrow tool are Draw a rectangle on the stage. Select the arrow tool. Make sure that no line of the rectangle is selected. Third step, position the mouse pointer near a line. The mouse pointer changes to show how the line can be reshaped. A corner next to the pointer allows you to adjust the end point of a line. A curve next to the pointer allows you to adjust the midpoints of a line. Fourth step, click and drag to reshape. Release the mouse button. Students open page number 147, exercise. Objective type questions, choose the correct option. Which of the following options are available in the property inspector when you select the line tool? Stoke color, stoke style, stoke height, all of these. Of course, it's all of these. Option B, each shape consists of a fill, stoke, both 1 and 2, none of these. The correct option is both 1 and 2. Part C. When you draw an oval or a circle using the dash tool, you cannot change the start angle, end angle or inner radius after drawing the shape. Oval, primitive oval. Both 1 and 2, none of these. It's oval tool. Part D. The radial gradient option creates a gradient that shades from the straight point to the end point in a pattern. Straight line, circular, solid, none of these. Radial. Radial means it must be a circular. Circular option is correct. E part. Which key will you press while dragging to draw a perfect square using the rectangle tool? Control, Shift key, Alt key, none of these. It's Shift key from the keyboard. Students, here are the fill in the blanks which you have to do in your notebooks. The dash tool can be used to create calligraphic effects. Brush tool. The dash option creates a gradient that shades from the starting point to the end point in a straight line. Linear gradient. Arrow tool that can be used to dash lines. Reshape. The dash tool is used to erase lines and fills. Eraser. Using the oval tool, you can draw ovals and circles. Circles. Students, here are few true-false statements which you have to do in your notebooks as well. You can draw both polygons and star shapes using the polystar tool. It's true. The ink portal tool is used to change the fill color. It's false. New gradients can be created using the options present in the property inspector panel. False. It will be done from the color palette. You can draw rectangles with rounded corners. Yes, it's true. You cannot modify the depth of a star. It's also false. You can do 